morning. Happy Wednesday. How's everybody's legs feeling from yesterday? Mine are tired. <laughs> Definitely was feeling it on the run this morning, but I had an amazing run. Oh my gosh. My runs just keep getting faster and faster, which is super exciting. Not, they're not fast <laughs> per se, but they're a lot faster than they were, which is good. The improvements are coming regularly, which is nice, which is, it's great to, it's great to see, you know, all the changes I've been making come to kind of fruition where it really counts, which is, performance, quote unquote, let's call it, right? All right, so starting with some nice easy twists, we're gonna just loosen up the hips and the spine, just ease into the movement session. I like to call it movement, move sessions, as you guys know, because the word workout can hold a lot of mental resistance to it, right? When we say, when we're starting, you know, once you're once you're like well into your journey and, and workouts or move sessions become part of your life, they don't hold that same. I don't know if I I don't know what's the difference between the word stigma and dogma. Anyway, you know, like there's some resistance when it comes to things we don't want to do, and the word workout can also hold a bit of an intimidation factor to some degree when we're not working out, right? Like we get out of shape and working out feels hard. Exercise feels hard. And uh, the word workout is, can be a deterrent. I mean, language, the language we think, the language we use, it matters. It, every word, you know, every word um, influences our feelings and our emotions. And so in calling these sessions, move sessions instead of workouts, my hope is to influence your emotions in a positive way instead of in a, in a negative way via the feeling of resistance, right? The feeling of like, I don't want to do it. So that's why we call them move sessions. <clears throat> and we always start with the first round of warm up being a low, no impact round. And I want to invite you if you're new or you know, you're just getting back into moving your body to remain at the low impact um, level as long as you need to, both through the warm up, both through the session, and both through the multiple sessions, assuming you come back, because the first primary goal is to get you to come back, <laughs> right? Like, I mean, first you wanna like, first you wanna manage your way through this session, but the true goal is to get you to come back tomorrow, right? And the next day, and the next day, and the next day, because one, effort doesn't get us anywhere, right? It gets us started, right? One effort is enough to get us started, but we gotta keep going. And, you know, I was thinking about how often we are results driven instead of action driven. Like our goals are, you know, we, we set a goal to achieve this or accomplish this or reach this, but what we need to focus on is, yes, that's the, that's the level we're trying to get to, you know, but the goal should be also centered around action, which is something we can control. We can't control um, when we're gonna reach, reach that milestone that we set as a goal, right? Like we don't have control over the timing, um, and, and often we don't even have control over how it happens, right? But you, know, you wanna commit to the goal of it happening, but you also wanna create some goals that are action-based so that you can celebrate your successes along the way because your success isn't just achieving that goal. Your success is showing up to work towards that goal. Okay, so on that note, I'm adding a little hop um, at this point, which you can add or not add, at, depending where you're at, depending on uh, what level you're at, depending on the day. Sometimes, <laughs> you know, maybe you, maybe you are good most days and then you just have an off day. <laughs> Maybe it's just an off day and you need to keep it at low impact. So I want to invite you always to, to modify anything that I do to, um, you know, satisfy whatever level you're at right now. So, and there's no judgment, no criticism. This, this 
is 45 minutes of you not allowed to criticize or judge yourself. It's 45 minutes where you're pouring into yourself, where you are investing um, into yourself and your quality of life. Because uh, I got a funny story for you all today. You're going to hear it first. I haven't told anybody this. Aside from my friend Kathy, I told her yesterday. And I'm going to have to start sharing this publicly, which I wasn't really wanting to do. Because I'm shy. <laughs> I'm shy and I don't like attention, believe it or not. And uh, I signed up for something that I thought was going to be kind of anonymous in, until and realized this morning, you no, know, this is something I have to talk about and share on my social media. So, which, you know, the universe is a, is a funny thing. And I would say, I think I was talking about this yesterday, I'm in some kind of weird, like, cosmic alignment with the universe right now because things keep happening. It started with getting into hard rock, which I still, I still say should not have happened logically, but it happened. I'm going to hard rock. I'm going to one of the most epic foot races on the planet, seriously, like it is, it is a very notoriously epic, um, hard, but amazing um, foot race in the San Juan Mountains in Silverton, Colorado. Um, a lot of history, very highly sought after to be able to do, or get into, I should say, to, to be given an opportunity to, to attempt and little old me was going in July. I got in. I don't even, this is how rare it is. I don't know a single person in all the people that I know in the running community. I don't know a single person who has done hard rock. So it all started there. And then thing after thing after thing keeps happening. I won a pair of shoes last night. And I knew I was going to win. Because I'm like, I'm just, I'm in that vibe right now. So I'm going to. Yeah, you know, like ride this vibe out as long as I can, but anyway, I want a pair of shoes. So my, um, what was I saying? I was saying something before I was going to share. Oh, so I had to fill out this form recently where it asked me um, about, well, one of the questions was, what is your advice? Or what would you tell somebody trying to get started? And, and then like, I can't even lift my legs right now. You guys, they're like... They're resisting coming up off the ground. Start small. Never underestimate the power that small changes will make. Also, never underestimate the damage the small bad habits will have, right? So your success um, and your um, mind-blowing transformation that you dream of, like the whole thing you, that you don't even know you could be. It's that profound. And I say this because this is exactly what happened to me since January 1st. Didn't even know I could be in the place that I'm in right now, physically, fitness-wise. Um, um, thinking that I was menopausally washed up. Like, you know, I'm in mid-40s. And I've tried. I've tried to activity completed. Activity not completed. I have tried, Lord, I've tried over the last few years to um, get to where I am here today without success. And here I am, and I'm like, how, how, how? And I will tell you that what I've learned is all the secrets are wrapped up in the small things. And we don't, we don't. I don't take action that way. We got to, I, I get out a dollar for every time I hear some of the things I hear over and over and over again. I'm all in. I'm all in. I, I'm all in. I'm starting on Monday and I'm all in. And then it's like, I'm all out. I'm out. Nothing works. And, and we, we literally flip flop between all in and all out. All in and all out. I'm on vacation. I'm all out. I'll start one. But when I get back from vacation, I am all in. Oh, it's summertime. I'm all out. You know, it's patio season, it's cottage season, I'm all out. And then it's like September comes, I am all in. 
I am getting fit. I am new me, new, new me. No. <laughs> and we, we literally go back and forth. And guess where our results remain? Right in the middle. They, they remain the same. Like, do you ever notice that your results do not change whether you're all in or all out? Because your success and your results are wrapped up in the middle um, in the daily habits. Not in the all in and the all outs. Like, that's the reality. It's the things you think don't matter that you're doing. The things, there's a whole bunch of little things that you're doing right now, and they are, they are all wrapped up in everything in moderation. That's what we call those things. So anything that you're claiming everything in moderation, is, that's where your results are. They're on the other side of that. Like, I guarantee you. Um, okay. We're going to do upper body today. We're going to start, you know, we're in a bit of a routine right now. Um, we're going to start with some back and biceps today. Back and biceps. Hey, Yvonne and Betty. Darcy's, Darcy's hurt herself. And she'll be back tomorrow, she said, she hopes. All right. I got to set a couple things up here. Uh, use these guys. Give me one second. So you are going to grab <clears throat> whatever weights you have. And we're going to do some bent. We're going to start with some bent rows. Okay. And we're going to do some bicep curls. Um, so I understand that you probably don't have a bar like I'm using right now. You don't need a bar like I'm using right now. Um, all you need is a couple weights. And if you're just starting, like just, just starting brand new, and you know, somewhere you heard Jocelyn caters to beginners, you don't even have to use a weight. Because the first few sessions, I just want you to show up. I want you to create a routine, and I want you to move your body. That is it. You want to know how long it's taken me to get to the place where I'm in right now? When did we start, buddy? 2021? It's been a long time. You're not going to get there overnight. So slow down to speed up. Okay, so we're going to start with... Bent rows, so you're going to have your weight, and you're going to pull it up. So this is what it's going to look like. Uh, you can use you can use dumbbells, you can use kettlebells, or you can do it without weight, and I'm going to use the barbell. Getting ready. Maybe overreaching here slightly. So your results are wrapped up in those small changes, both good and bad, right? So making the small good changes and <laughs> releasing, you know, the small bad habits that you think it's the things that you're claiming, everything in moderation, a little bit won't hurt. Um, you gotta live a little. You know what? Because you know where life happens? Like true life, true living, it doesn't happen in your comfort zone. So all the things you're hanging on to for comfort are preventing you from living, truly living life. Right? Do you believe me? Oh, this is heavy. Five, four, three, two, one. It took me 30 seconds that time to do my to do my full 10. We we deceive. 
deceive ourselves because some of the things that we cling to that, which I say this as a guilty party, I don't say this in judgment. That's what I did the last few years. I clung to things that were comfort. <laughs> Um, wine. You know, yeah, I work really hard. I deserve it. Let me tell you what you deserve. You deserve a quality life. And quality life, the takes. It takes an investment in yourself. Ten, nine, eight, Counting six, five, four, three, two, last one. Oh, man. I've got one more set of each. My arms are jelly already. I'm ready for like a couple days rest coming up. Um, rest is important too. But I haven't felt like I've needed it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Oh, done with those. <laughs> sweating in here too. I had the heater going thinking it's so cold. Boiling 
while I'm doing my core. Okay, so pull, okay, a little too heavy. Two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm just gonna show you guys. This is how you're doing it on your own. Or you can also hold a wall and do it like this. I gotta get three more in here. Three, two, and one. Yeah, that's gonna have to go laying down. This is pretty aggressive. I don't know why I thought I could lift this, but anyway, I did do a set, so we'll see how many sets I can get. And we'll then we'll modify. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one more. One. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do two sets of eight for the next one. Um, let me done this water before the workout. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm dialing in my water. Um, cause I think for 75 hard, you gotta have six, even if I get six out. Um, other small changes. Go for a 10 minute walk. Incorporate a 10 minute walk. You know how you can make a small change really impactful? Do that 10 minute walk right after a meal. change like anybody can find 10 minutes in the day and to go for a walk and may, put that walk after a meal and that change has just become a, like a bit of a ninja change and it's a 10 minute change if that's overwhelming do five minutes do one minute go for a one minute walk really the beginning is about establishing habits trying to get to that cusp where that last couple reps are super hard to get out. That's where you know you're creating a change. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Um, what else? You could do a 30 second plank every day. Can you find 30 seconds in your day just to do a plank or 10 air squats? You, you pick, you just pick one of those things and that's your focus for that week is to do that one thing. It's not about the results that you're gonna get from that thing, it's about the new habit and the new mindset that you're training yourself on. And it's about not creating the resistance, so it breaking down the walls of resistance, you know, the, the things like 
Oh, who do you think you are? You don't work out. You can't do that. You're not blah, blah, blah. Right? All those things we say to ourselves when we're just starting out because we have that imposter syndrome that, you know, this is not me. Um, who are you fooling? I'm like, I thought I saw six for a second. Like, no, no. That was definitely four sets a piece. Okay, so next up we're going to do some shoulder stuff. A shoulder set. I'm going to try something here. Um, so we're going to do presses. And then we're going to do rows. I don't know how this is going to go as a set. This is going to be really hard. I can already tell. So my arms are already gel. 2021. Yeah, 2021. And it's 2023. So two years it took me. Are you willing to do what you're doing for two years if it's going to get you to where you want to be? So that was, so I have three. I had three tips for that portion of the, the form I was filling out. Um, so it was like, don't underestimate the power of small changes, but also what in your life are you currently protecting or coveting that needs to go? So that, while that is just one thing, it's usually a big change because it's usually something that you're really unwilling to give up. So for me, it was wine. So yeah, sure, stop drinking wine, one change. Small, not small, because it was something that I was highly resisting doing. So it was a big deal for me it was a big change. It was a big commitment. It was super scary um, mentally. Okay, so again, I'm going to aim for eight to ten of these. Okay, so you're pushing straight up above yourself. I'm going to stop at 10 and put the bar down and try this bar for our rows. We'll see, it may have to go to a lower, you know what, I'm going to start with a lower, I'm going to start with this and we'll see how this goes. Okay, so you're going to have your weights and you're going to pull straight up your body in an upright row, okay? I've done these in a million years. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten. Okay. Um, so, second one was um, never underestimate how long it's going to take you. It's always going to take you longer than you think or you want. <laughs> okay, drop into sets of eight already. Um, it's probably going to take you longer than you think or hope. Which is why you need to focus on the actions and the habits, not the results. Usually, if you pay attention, um, when you are about to quit, right? You're like, I give up. I've been at this for so long. Um, nothing's happening. Nothing's changing. It's just not. In, it's just not in the cards for me. And you quit. That is the exact time that you're on the verge of a breakthrough. And so often we quit right at that edge of where we're about to break through to massive transformation. We always quit right on that edge. And I think there's a couple things. Like one, you have to commit that you're doing it. Like there's a huge difference um, in decision. And decision is like two words, D, Incision. Incision means to cut out. Four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Decision means to cut out, so you, you cut out any other possibilities. You cut out any um, potential of any alternative result, right? You, when you decide, you omit any other outcome, right? Other than the one that you're after, which means it doesn't matter how long it takes, um, you've decided that's where you're going, right? Like we don't, I love to always compare to an actual road trip, probably because I drive so much. You don't encounter a, a storm or traffic or road construction and turn around and go back home. Like we don't do that. We find solutions on, on that journey. We take a detour. <laughs> We stop and wait it out if we have to. Um, you know, we, we find an alternative route or way. And that's how we need to be with our goals. Something didn't work. Try something else, not, oh, something didn't work, I quit, <laughs> right? Um, so no going in is probably going to take longer than you expected. Think about a house or renovation. Never, when, when do we ever get that, that stuff done quicker than we, we thought? Never. It's always extended, right? Do we just decide never to buy a house or renovate anything? No, we just know, hey, it's going to take longer than I think. <laughs> Three, two more, two, and one. Again, if you can keep going, you keep going. I know some of you, you don't have the weight, the heavy weight, so we make up for that in, in uh, reps, in volume. I'm trying to remember what the third thing was. Um, so it'll come back to me. <laughs> Can't think of it right, right off the top of my head. That's okay. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of chest next. So we're going to do standing presses. With no, we're not because we just did presses. So I don't want to do those again. <laughs> we're gonna do. Okay, so a couple options. So option number one is you can hold V sit. Okay. And you can just go like this. So what I want you to focus on is the chest is up. You're not a C, you're a V, okay? And you can add weight. And then the other one we're gonna do is we're gonna do one at a time. We're gonna do presses, okay? And then the other side. I'm not gonna lie, these are gonna be a challenge. I did these the other day. are great for core and great for chest. Okay, so eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you're gonna have to go pretty light on these ones. Um, what was my third one? <laughs> it was good too. It was three really good things. Never underestimate the power of the small changes made consistently. They will change your life. Okay. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Okay. Woo. Um, I don't remember. It'll come. 
Um, can you help? So, what did I do? Uh, I My friend sent me this message. I thought it was spam. So it was from hers, Muscle and Fitness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This move that we're doing right now will be will be hard without weight. So if you're if you're not able to keep good form, because it's going to take some solid core strength to do it, um, and then you don't want to you don't want to break good form. So you can also do it on a bench if you have a bench. Sorry, I should take this off. Doing the other side now. Um, she sent me and said, oh, I could see you on the cover. So I thought it was one of those, you know, Facebook message scams where they're like, oh, I, I saw you in this video. And it's like clickbait and it's like some kind of spyware or whatever. And I thought to myself, huh, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. I actually feel pretty dang good right now. Maybe that could be me on the cover. And it looked like Hers Muscle and Fitness magazine. And so I clicked on it. And it's a contest to be on the cover of Hers Muscle and Fitness. And you can win $20,000. And I thought, well, I have this weird connection with the universe right now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm vibing high. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I thought, why the heck not? I'm, I'm kind of embarrassed telling you guys this story, but I'm like, why the heck not? I'm gonna, I'm gonna send in my information. What the heck? And so I did. And so now I'm in the running <laughs> for Miss Hers Muscle and Fitness. And I'm like, oh, I'm kind of embarrassed. And, you know, I'm shy, you guys. But I'll tell you why I felt kind of called to do it was. I really feel I really feel compelled and passionate right now about sharing what I've learned over the last three months with women because I I settled and lowered my expectations like I lowered my bar so far down and as a result that's how I was living and I want to teach women and show women and, and I really want to empower them to raise the bar for themselves and stop accepting that our midlife years mean that life is like just a, a grind to the finish because it isn't right like i if and i thought it was i really really thought it was and i'm kind of embarrassed and ashamed that i was teaching that and letting women settle by saying hey you know you got to do this to mitigate mitigate the changes but you know like be happy where you are be happy with the extra weight just just work with what you got like I'm 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 embarrassed and ashamed of myself for rate lowering that bar for myself and then and then telling you to now like the flip side of that is sometimes that's where we're at that's the flip side of that story is sometimes that's where we're at and that's what we got and that's where I was at and I, I do preach Grace and forgiveness in terms of, hey, you know, know that you're always doing your best at that time for where you're at at that time, but no, I want to tell you there's more. I want to tell you, you can do better and you can demand more and you can have more. Um, and it starts with raising the bar for yourself and raising your expectations 
and it's not as hard as you think. That's the other part of the message that I feel compelled to share. Is it is not as hard as you think. It's not what you think. It's going to be hard. Right, so we're going to finish with a push-up set because it's upper body day, and I didn't get all my core in this morning. So we're going to do two things to finish. We're going to finish my core, which is 50 Russian twists and 50 rice bowls. And then we're going to do it finish with a push-up set, which is going to be probably quite awful because my arms are jello right now. I don't know how yours are. So let's start with 50 bicycles, or sorry, 50 Russian twists. Okay, so you can have your legs down or your legs up, but what I want is not a curved back. I want a straight back, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. 20 more. Three, four, chest up. Eight, nine, ten. Last ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, that's 50. Doing 50 bicycles. Um, so I, because I feel so strongly about that message that it's okay, where you're at is okay, but know that at any given time you can change it and it's not as hard as you think. That's what I wanna tell women. And my daughter said something to me yesterday. One, two, three, four. She's doing best me with me now. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, twenty more. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, last ten. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Understand she's a typical teenager now. She's never struggled with weight, nor would I say that she does now, but she has other issues because it's not always. It's not always. It's not all about weight. It's not all about weight. It's about health and wellness. And health and wellness equates quality of life. And so she has it's been one week of clean eating for her. And she had a run yesterday and she said, I can't believe how good it felt. She's like, I really feel it. She goes, I don't even know how to explain it, but I can just feel it. And I said, yes, that's exactly it. Like, I don't know how to explain it to people how it feels when your body is like in this harmonious place but like i just want you to trust me to know that once you feel it you don't want to give it up and it you have to get a taste of that to have the motivation to give up all the crap because someone asked me yesterday do you miss do you miss wine okay we're doing push-ups now you can do these from your knees or alternatively you can do them on the wall and you're gonna put stagger your hands like this, okay? So they're staggered, and we're gonna do 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. You can do regular ones if these are not in your wheelhouse, and you can do regular ones against the wall, or a couch, one, or a table, three. We change, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's the message. So I thought this was an opportunity to potentially speak to women, which is why I put my name in it because I had no, you know, I mean, there's a little part of me inside that's like, you know, things, weird things are happening. Maybe I could win. But then realistically, I'm like, oh my God, there's gonna be tens of thousands of women. <laughs> who apply to this thing, right? And honestly, my picture was like a picture taking on an iPhone at the top of the Grand Canyon. So I don't have professional photographers. Okay, elbows are in, we're doing tricep push-ups. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. 
We're going to do wide push-ups. So our arms are going to be nice and super wide. Again, you can be doing these on a wall or a bench. The higher up you are, the easier. And then you can decline them down and then you can also do them from your knees. So lots of options. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Okay, and then we're going to finish with 10 regular push-ups to make it 50. Then we got 50 push-ups in, which is awesome, and we're done. And then I still got to finish my core, but I got to go to Mech today, which is Dangerous. It's a dangerous place to take me to Mac. <laughs> All right, last 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. I hope your arms are jello, you guys. Thanks for joining me, and uh, I'll finish my muscle and fitness story with you guys tomorrow. Have an awesome day. That means you got to come back. <laughs>